Hi everyone, I'm Carly McGuire, your DZ TV host. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes here just for people to join on and join us today. So let me know when you're here, say hello. Let me know what your favorite part about Colorado Gives Day is. And I hope it's donating to Denver Zoo. This is such an important day for us here at Denver Zoo. Coloradans are so generous and we are just so amazed by the outpouring we've already gotten today. We told you our magic number for those donations that we want you to help us hit is 41,000. $500 because we are going to double that. We are going to match it with the help of some very generous members of our board of governors, our leadership council, and very generous donors who are going to boost that. And when we hit 41,500, we're going to immediately jump up to $83,000. And that number is significant because that is how much it costs each month to feed all 3000 plus of our animals. So they're going to get fed no matter what, don't worry, but your donations are going to help support our animal care in such a difficult year. So we wanna thank you in advance just for joining us, just for watching with us today. And definitely thank you if you've donated to Colorado Gives Day to Denver Zoo, either through that link that's in the description or right here on Facebook. So I won't make you wait too long. We have a lot of viewers now who have read the post description and are ready to see Rudy. So I won't make you wait but you can always donate while you wait. Maybe I shouldn't turn it around until we get some of those. No, I won't do that to you. So let's get started. We're gonna to talk to Rudy and his keeper, Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Hi. hi, Rudy. Everyone say hi to Rudy. So we chose Rudy for a really special reason for this Facebook Live. So tell us a little bit about why his zootrition is so important. Rudy is a browser, so black rhinos are browsers, which means that their a lot of their diet is browse, which means leaves and branches. So we actually get browse flown in from him on a weekly basis um, throughout the entire year because it's such an important aspect of his diet. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously he's a very large animal, so he requires a lot of a lot of food every day. He is a big guy. How much does he weigh, do you think? Um, we actually weigh him every other month, and he weighs just under 3,000 pounds. Under 3,000 pounds. You're light, Rudy. <laughs> yeah, so that's in the average uh, weight for um, adult male black rhino. So he is actually at the perfect weight. Um, so we have a nutritionist that helps us keep track of his diet and make sure it's matching up when we do his weights. Yeah, anyone who has a, a furry, scaly, fuzzy friend at home, feathered, you all know that keeping your animals healthy is really important. So we have a, a PhD scientist nutritionist on our staff who makes sure animals are getting exactly what they need and the correct portions so that they're never too light or too heavy. I know some people always assume that Rudy looks skinny because you can see some outlines on his body, but that's right. perfectly normal, isn't it? Yes, every animal has a different um, scale for their body condition and what is considered good. And so if you're looking at his body, you want to be able to see the outline of the hip bone and a little bit of the ribs. Um, he actually has a perfect body score condition. So this is normal for a black rhino. We love you, Rudy, you got the perfect body. Uh, a lot of people are asking, how old is Rudy? Rudy is 27 years old. Um, his birthday is in August, so he's considered older for a black rhino. So he is on the older side, which is another reason we always really pay, pay special attention to what he's eating and how it's affecting him. And big fans of Rudy, big fans of our virtual safaris who have watched a lot of these probably know, but talk about Rudy's iron storage disease. Yeah, so Rudy um, stores excess iron in his body and that's basically because his body naturally is not used to eating large amounts of bioavailable iron in his diet um which he would eat from he would eat a bunch of different species of browse in the wild leaves and branches and shrubs from trees so we mimic his diet as best we can that's why the browse is so important but when we cannot give exactly the same diet as the wild. We're gonna have some differences in the nutrients that are in the food. So he is on a specialized grain um, for low iron, but it's not enough to keep him from um, keeping all of the iron that he can 
his body does it automatically when there is iron in the food. So that's why we don't have grass in his yard as much because we know that the grass contains iron and we don't want to knowingly be allowing him access to eating excess iron because his body stores that. That's how dedicated we are to this animal care here at Denver Zoo, that we are thinking about an animal's diet and body based on a molecular level, their microbiome, bi microbiomes of their stomach. So that's why Zootrition is so important. That's why your donations are so important, especially on a day like Colorado Gives Day, because this browse, you can see some that he's stepping on and other right here is flown in. We can't grow this right here in Colorado. We need this all year round. And this is something he can eat. We get ficus for him because we know that he really likes this species and it's good for him. Um, but yeah, we have to get it from Florida right now. And we get it every week for nutrition and the nutrition center delivers it to us daily. And there he goes. So browsing is when they are pulling the leaves and the branches down from the tree, whereas grazing, like cows, they eat straight from the ground. Yes, exactly. Pull it up. So grazers are usually eat grass. So he will also get hay. Um, which is what we give our grazers, um, but a smaller amount compared to the other rhinos, which are grazers, or elephants, which are grazers. Maybell, we agree. He is awesome. Thank you for your donations. You can go to the link that's right in this uh, description of this Facebook post. He's going into the shade. It's a little warm here in Colorado today, so we'll just get a little closer so we can see him, but you can go to the link that's right there under the description and donate to Denver Zoo through Colorado Gives Day. Match those donations today. We are getting a $41,500 match if we make that goal. So if you help us get to $41,500, we get another immediately, and then we've made our goal of $83,000. Thanks to you all. Um, Blair wants to know, are his ears stiff or are they fuzzy and soft? Um, the actual ear part is stiff. He moves it really well, so they're very muscular, but the hairs on the top are pretty soft, actually, so it's a lot softer than you'd think. Not like, not coarse like an elephant tail hair or pig hair. And then he's softest right behind his ears. Yes, the skin on right behind his ear and in between the um, leg uh, is the softest parts of his body, so when we do tours, we always get people to touch there to feel the difference um, of his skin. McKenna wants to know how many pounds of browse does he eat a day? Um, so he, right now we can financially be able to support eight kilograms of browse a day, which is about 17 pounds of browse a day for Rudy. Um, but he could eat more. Um, browse is always uh, good in larger quantities for these guys, but um, he, Eight kilograms is what he gets right now. Um, and it's it's a lot because he has a big animal. So we're really fortunate that we do or we are able to get that much browse at least for Rudy. So Xander's wondering what Rudy's favorite food is. Um, he loves all the produce. So we give him produce for enrichment and training. Um, so he really loves carrots and apple slices. He'll get honeydew slices sometimes and um, we give him all different types of fruits and vegetables. So those are probably his favorite. And then he also gets a, a treat biscuit. It's called a, um, well, we call it monkey chow biscuit, <laughs> but it's a um, biscuit that kind of smells like oranges, but it tastes like cardboard, <laughs> but they love it so much. But they much. don't mind. Yeah. They like that he taste. He loves it so much. Uh, let's see that uh, low iron grain. You brought some of that out to kind of show yes. the different foods that he eats. So while Rudy has some of his brows, we're going to show you. So the this is just a small amount. He gets 20 pounds of this a day. So every week we get four 40 pound bags of grain weekly that we use throughout the week. And we split it up into smaller amounts every day. And it is a low iron um browser cube made by the company missouri which is a um, company that specializes in making zoo diets very cool is this you hand feed this or you just put the uh, bucket do, down um 
he likes to be hand fed when they're out here, but since I have it in the bowl, mm. he'll probably appreciate getting all of it at once. Oh, there goes your branch. <laughs> um, Sheila wants to know how long has Rudy been with us at Denver Zoo? He came here uh, February of 2016. So almost, almost five years. Yeah. <laughs> Some fans of his are saying hi from from over there. So um, people always ask about the horn. Do we file it? Do we shape it? No, we don't do anything with the horn unless he breaks off a piece himself and it <laughs> could be dangerous for him. Um, and we could trim it, um, but really we don't do anything with Rudy's horns. He likes to file it and shape it himself, especially after he gets a hose bath and it gets all wet. Kind of like our fingernails, how they're softer after we take a bath or a shower. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see there's some like, it looks kind of the way something would look after you sanded it on top. Yes. That he gets from kind of rubbing on the cables and different enrichment items in his in his yard. Yeah, and you can actually see a little, the white parts on his skin between the two horns. That's some horn. So he's been recently shaving his horn. He's been fouling it up because he knew he'd be on the yeah, Facebook Live today. Gotta look, gotta look sharp. <laughs> Blair, thank you so much. We cannot wait for your donation. We really appreciate it. Um, hi, Ethan. We said this earlier, Rudy's 26 or 27? 27. 27. Rudy's 27 years old. Um, let's see. I'm wait, looking for some awesome questions. As a reminder, you can go to the link in the description and donate for Colorado Gives Day. That's why we're out here today. That's why we're doing these lives. We want to bring you some animals and show you just exactly how your donations make an impact. This browse right here, if you're just joining us, is flown in from Florida. This is Spicus. We cannot grow and get it that fresh here in Colorado, especially during this time of the year. So we pay for that to be flown in and give Rudy his portion. It's not cheap, but it's exactly what we're gonna do to make sure he's the healthiest and happiest he can be. Um, Blair's wondering, what is the size comparison between Rudy, a black rhino, and Tenzing, a greater one horn? So Rudy is around 3,000 pounds. That's the average for an adult male. Tenzing weighs around a little less than 4,000 pounds. Um, so, and that's for a female greater one horn rhino. Bandu, the male greater one horn rhino, which would be a better comparison of the two probably, um, weighs closer to 5,000 pounds. So 2,000 pound difference, um, you can really tell a difference if you get up, up close to them. Um, Bandu really feels a lot bigger than Rudy. Uh, Joy Ann is wondering how long does this horn grow? And it's kind of as long as it, as yeah. long as it can before it would break or be shaved off? Yeah, um, black rhinos, uh, their horns, usually can grow pretty long as well as the other African species, the white rhino. Other, the other species and the greater one horn rhinos typically have a shorter horn. Um, so you could probably up to a foot, I would say. Oh, wow, and Rudy's not a big fighter. He's a, he's a gentle guy here yeah. we have, but the black rhinos have the longer horns for the fact that they would use it as defense, right? Correct, and they could also use it for browsing or getting their their diet so um we see him use his horn to get when we hang brows on the cables or um as enrichment in the yard he's utilizing that horn to get the leaves and branches to eat um so they can also use that as well as their prehensile lip yes the prehensile lip we haven't talked about it but it's the very tip of his upper lip it kind of looks like a big nub it helps him actually just pick stuff up just like a finger uh, elephants have it at the end of their trunk as well a lot of our animals have prehensile tails so that's a the word of the day for you uh blair wants to know if bandu gets love we do a lot of juna and tenzing talk oh, yeah. and rudy but bandu gets lots of love too yes we love bandu he is such a sweet boy you should watch him play piano <laughs> he's a prodigy let us know if you have more questions they're kind of coming in faster so i want to make sure i scroll back and see if i've gotten everyone's i hope you're enjoying this beautiful day if you're in Colorado. It's gorgeous in Denver today, so I hope you're getting outside and enjoying it. Uh, Colorado Gives Day, such an awesome day for Coloradans to show up for their nonprofits, including Denver Zoo. I don't think a lot of people actually stop to think about Denver Zoo being a nonprofit. We depend so much on your support. And when we were closed for 87 days without any other type of revenue, your support was huge. So we thank you 
And yes, we do still need it. So if you're not ready to come back to the zoo and see us in person yet, consider making a donation in the cost of a ticket just so we can be here when you're ready to come back. So we've got a lot of people watching, but no, no questions. Everyone's just enjoying watching Rudy. I'm trying to get down here so you can see his, his lips and how he eats. Maybe you can see that drool trail going from bite of food to bite of food. Is his prehensile lip as um, exact as sort of our elephant trunks can be where they can pick up like something the yeah. size of an M&M? Um, maybe not that small, but he's pretty good about getting almost every piece of grain off the floor or <laughs> small pieces of uh, produce that we cut up. Um, so he is uh, pretty dexterous with it. Um, he kind of uses both the upper lip and the bottom lip to get things into his mouth. The, his bottom lip is somewhat pointy too compared to the other rhino species. Yeah, um, the, the greater one horns have a very like, squared yes, bottom lip. They actually have the prehensile upper lip and then a grazing square bottom lip. So they're like a fusion of a grazer and a browser. Hi, Sheila. Rudy is a black rhino. So we have two different species of rhino here at Denver Zoo. We have a black rhino, which is why Rudy's got his own yard. And then we have our three greater one horn rhinos, Bandu, and then Mom Tenzing and baby Juna. So they're doing really well. Juna's up to over a thousand pounds now, right? Yeah. Ooh. She's getting really big. But she's still super sweet and we love seeing her. But it's Rudy we're focusing on today with his brows. There he goes. This is what your donations do, people. They give Rudy his brows that he loves to munch on. And we need your help getting as much of this as possible for him and the food for all of our animals. So as a reminder, our goal today, $41,500 from you. And then we get that matched by members of our Board of Governors, Leadership Council, and very generous donors. So you are making double the impact when you donate today. And it is such an important day for us. So we really hope you can help us reach that. And we'll certainly keep you updated. I think we're about halfway to that $41,000 goal. So keep helping us get there. Uh, I'll answer this Juno question, Blair. We think Juno was about 120 when she was born? 130? Yes. Yeah, so she's about 10 times what she was when she weighed, when she was born. Um, Mia wants to know how fast can black rhinos run? Um, so they can get up to maybe 30 miles an hour. Um, 30 miles an hour. He will run in his yard. Um, and he's pretty fast, especially because he's big and he just looks so graceful and covers a lot of space. But yeah, they can get really fast, 25 to 30 miles an hour. So uh, you don't want to try to outrun these guys. No, you don't. Uh, Linda, thank you so much for your generous donation. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to take a few more questions before we sign off here, but I'll just let you enjoy watching Rudy until those come in. If you have any for Caitlin or for me, let us know. He's about to fall asleep. He does look like, he looks like me after I've eaten a lot of food. I'm just kind of like snoozy. It's warm out. Mm -hmm. If Rudy takes a nap, I will be very jealous, <laughs> but he is enjoying himself. Let me know in the comments if you've ever fallen asleep with some food in your mouth. <laughs> like Rudy seems like he's about to. Uh, Sheila wants to know what zoo did Rudy come from? Um, he came from the Oklahoma City Zoo. The Oklahoma City Zoo. So he's a Midwest boy yep. and then he came a little further out west. But he likes the mountains. He loves Caitlin and he loves Dave, his two keepers. They can get him to just follow them around in the yard. And... He does not do the same for me. <laughs> um, Kelsey, our, one of our former hoofstock keepers, says hello to Rudy and that she loves him. Hi, Hi Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Hi to those just joining. Thanks for joining us for our very special virtual safari here on Colorado Gives Day. You can double your impact when you donate today. Up to $41,500 is getting matched today. So donations today, if you donate even just a dollar, five dollars, that's getting doubled. So thank you for donating today. Colorado Gives Day, such a big one here for us. I know a lot of people just had Giving Tuesday. We had a lot of amazing donations for Giving Tuesday as well. But Colorado Gives Day is an all-time big one for us at the end of such, such a difficult year for everyone. So we appreciate anyone who can help. 
We appreciate all these viewers and all these watchers. I knew Rudy would have a lot of fans. Oh, <laughs> always. He is just the sweetest guy. And he's had so many improvements to his yard. And now you can kind of see in the background of there a new animal hospital. So he's got something new to check out too. I think he's enjoying it. Yeah, he loves his new yard. Um, he has become really resilient to all the construction and everything. So that's actually better for his welfare um, that he can not be as nervous around loud sounds or anything like that so he's really enjoying this warm day we brought him into the demo yard for this um, but he yeah. spends pretty much every day that it's uh, warmer and sunny out in the yard sleeping so and he has any at any point if he wants to the gate back to the main yard is open we give our animals choice here especially on a warm day like today if he wants to be out there if he wants to be in this demo yard it's up to him but Rudy knows he's getting snacks and browse and treats so that's why he came and joined us over here. Blair, thank you so much. We wouldn't be the best zoo if we didn't have the best guests. So we really appreciate all of our supporters. Sheila says, Rudy rocks. Thank you for these donations. We really appreciate it. We're gonna sign off for now. We have one more live for you at 3 p.m. Mountain time. So join us for that. One last animal whose zootrition is very important so we really appreciate you guys thank you for the donations keep donating either on this post or in the link in the description and we will see you later thank you so much to caitlin answering all your great questions and we'll let rudy say goodbye